Okay, Mr. Bones, as you can see from my little drawing here, that's just supposed to be representative of your crankshaft pulley. You know, this right here. Now, this is after top dead center. That's exactly top dead center. It's 5 degrees before, 10, 15, 20. Basically, the timing mark should line up here if it is set correctly. Now, so basically, um, <clears throat> and just so we're clear, this is a uh, my Miata shit here. This is not the piss muscle stuff. But this is just to show you. Let's see. You go this one. Open up that one. And then basically, when you go over here to the <coughs> uh, use table, you're going to put it on fixed timing. And now you see how that little 10 pops up? Basically, and I can't remember... It should be 10 degrees on the D21, but it might not be. We had a little issue with this. Um, but at any rate, when you put it on fixed timing, whatever number pops into here, when you check the timing with the timing light, it should match. If it does not, you can adjust the distributor. When you adjust the distributor, if you still can't get it, you go over here to the trigger angle offset degrees. And basically, I can't remember whether you lower the number, it advances. I want to say if you lower the number, it advances the timing. If you raise the number, it retards the timing. Now, the thing is, is that it should be pretty close to what we have. <coughs> uh, again... You know, that's if everything's been set to, like, how Nissan says to set it. So, that's really the big thing. If you did it all as Nissan says to do it, then it should be the same. Uh, now, obviously, as you see here, mine says three and a half, where on the D21, it's like 40-something. So, long story short is, is that if you cannot get the distributor to advance or retard enough to make it match change this by like two to five you know like where this is three if i wanted to try and advance it or retard it i would like make it you know negative two for five degrees or 8.5 for you get what i'm saying <clears throat> basically try to only go in increments of five or like two and a half uh, because too big of a swing will mess you up but at any rate put it on the fixed timing start it up check it with the timing light if you have the type of timing light that has the knob on the back make sure it is set on zero preferably do this with a light that does not have a dial because mine kept fucking me up when you have one that doesn't have a dial all it knows is to flash when the spark fires so long story short have it running it should line up with the 10 degree mark when it's in fixed timing or whatever that number is right here and when you put it in fixed timing whatever that number is if it says eight degrees then it should be you know just before the 10 degree mark if it says 20 degrees then it should be on a 20 degree mark but Whatever that number right there says when you put it in fixed timing is what it needs to match on the crankshaft pulley. It needs to match down here. So, like I said, make the adjustment at the distributor. But I know on these trucks, they, like ours, it's, ours is fully advanced. So, we had to do the adjustment through here. Uh... But like I said, you know, try it with the distributor first. If you can't get the distributor right, then basically adjust that number up, up five or down five, and see how if it moves it in the right, whichever one moves it in the right direction. You know, you go back out, check out the time and light, and basically you keep adjusting that number until that number there matches, you know, down here. The worst comes the worst, I can make you a video to show you exactly how to do it, but hopefully that will help you out. Uh, but basically, if you do it like that, 
then everything should be good to go. You should be able to start it, run it. Uh, it might be just a little bit rich because our injectors are a little bit bigger than yours, but it should be okay. Um, you know, and if nothing else, once you get it started up and running,